Hey everybody, this week I spent most of my time doing code optimization stuff like moving things into manager classes and a lot of bug fixes and started work this week on some of the in-game menus like the inventory menu mainly and like quest menu and that just getting the functionality there but there's a little bit to demo with the inventory at least so I'll get into that first and then go through like the patch notes what I worked on this week so the first thing I'll demo is just the the inventory so it's still not much there I've just started some of the basic UI positioning so here is going to be say your character just a 2D version of your character and then you'll have say your mod slots appear here so if it's a leg slot maybe an arrow or a line pointing to the leg and then that mod that you have equipped for leg or your head so that'll be this next week coming what I'll probably be working on just focusing on the inventory and then say having the weapons click and drag functionality if they're multi-slot so like yeah kind of the same as the original Deus Ex dragging clicking and dragging and if it's say a rocket launcher or something takes up multiple slots but yeah and here so that's that section and then some buttons probably are going to be here to so, uh, organize maybe just drop so a few things I still have to figure out but yeah the last few days have spent figuring kind of the main gist of the inventory tab so yeah and here this section here will be if you say click a weapon or something you'll get a little detail panel here I don't know if I'm going to take up this full UI element here yet but yeah it's kind of just the basic so yeah even this screen looks a bit basic but with this it was mainly to get this cursor showing when you tabbed in and then you just toggle with the actual inventory button so originally as well with any menus you had to press escape to close it so now I've built that functionality to open and close the menu with the same button which is very useful so and then yeah just placeholders for the skills one and quests so that'll be next I think but yeah for next week probably we'll be focusing on this inventory UI and then having the 10 yeah it'll be 10 slots down the bottom which is your equip slots uh, so that'll probably be another button when you click equip to slot or something or maybe you'll yeah, have to figure that out but binding your inventory to your quick bar and yeah the display so that's the main elements of the inventory so you'll handle your mods here you'll handle your in your weapons and inventory here as well and yeah see any information and then like skills will be something like uh, your RPG based elements so like as you level up your character you'll get like the skills like uh, improve lockpicking or improve hacking or something and then you'll maybe have a skill tree and then you can upgrade so that's probably what I'll go for with the skills and then quests will just simply be a uh, menu for displaying all your quests so this may shrink a little bit but you'll have say your quests here or your list of quests and then you could assign them and then they'll appear on your your display here on the right and yeah then maybe completed quests here or something or quest info but that's still a little bit it'll be inventory first worked on and get most of the functionality here done so as well with the inventory I was deciding between going for this 
uh, grid system like most immersive sims have this type of system with the inventory and even the size of this I was trying to decide on for now I've got this size and it may be locked behind upgrades as well so this may be the full size of your inventory but there's a decent amount of slots so it may not require too much inventory management for the amount of items that may be in the game and what I do want is similar to other immersive sims where you have to think about your inventory space so it may be you get say up to this size so one two three four five grid by one two three four five six seven so 45 slots starting and then as you say upgrade your skills you unlock more another three slots or something and that so you have to invest in your character's carry ability or whatever so that's probably one thing that I'll go for with this because but then it'll come down as well to how many items are in the game it has to balance with the amount of items that are going to be in the game because if there's not many items then you won't need to worry too much about your inventory but and then if there's a lot of items you'll have a lot of difficulty managing your inventory so you have to find the balance and I can only know the balance once near the later stages of development where there's a concept of how many items there are so that's the main um, with this style and yeah as I was saying kind of went off on a tangent but I was deciding between this style and a weight type inventory so like think of Skyrim how you've got just a carry weight which defines how many items you can carry and I was gonna switch to that but then I thought uh, that's more suited to full RPG games and what I'm really going for with this game is immersive sim top priority and then RPG so like even if we look at the walk speed it's to be slower it's it's um, like even with the inventories the, the game doesn't pause so things like that that are more immersive sim focus than RPG uh, to make it feel a, well to make it feel more realistic I guess but to make it feel a little bit more difficult so that that's the main things and this was the final decision to go with the grid similar to other immersive sims so yeah that was what I worked on the last few days and the rest is a lot of bug fixes so I'll go into them now so the rest of the week I worked on a lot of bug fixes and yeah as I was saying at the intro organizing say the sound instances and everything into a sound manager class even now most of the UI elements is handled in a menu manager class so it's a lot neater and can can be used throughout the code instead of um, having to pass in through classes like say this UI element needed to uh, this inventory screen needed to interact with say things that are from the quests then instead of having to pass in quests into the inventory class or inventory into the quest class it's just now the menu manager instance which handles it all so a lot a lot simpler but yeah there was mainly things like that and bug fixes so first thing which came up in the last video was when I tried to do the clear all it didn't clear the the mods so if we even activate the mod now and we run that command uh, player oh, I've forgotten the command hang on I wrote it down set oh, it was set all none 
so then it removes all and sets everything back to normal so we even if we press those buttons you can't activate them so as well that was with so here when we quit to main menu it also continued so that mod was active and uh, yeah like the time was slow so it was just that clearing them the other thing so added the inventories uh, move bullets uh, yeah so the other thing now what was it because that's right because of the adding of the inventory screens and I'm wanting I'm wanting the game world to be unpaused while you're managing your inventory so because of that I've moved so originally the bullet objects were falling under the gun class and the gun class was a part of the player so what I was doing with the inventories was uh, when the inventory is open originally I pause the player so that when you press the move the player doesn't move but then instead of doing the player update so because of when the inventory open is open we don't update the player we then also don't update the gun which then also doesn't update the bullet so with that there was when we say fired a bullet and then open the menu the bullet would just pause because the player was not being updated so now I've moved the bullet to be proper world objects and it makes more sense even in um, like even in a game world type scenario a bullet is a separate entity than the player it shouldn't be derived from the player or the gun so yeah now it's the gun still creates a bullet but that bullet is a it's yeah based on under screen a screen manager so the screen manager which handles most of what happens on screen like the world the camera the level objects based on that so yeah, when when a bullet, if if I open the mods one now in slow time, if we shoot here, we still can see that bullet going away. Or if I do this, hang on. now we we'll, should see it come over here. Yeah. So yeah, that bullet is not dependent on the player anymore so that was another adjustment the other thing was there was some issues around new menus like yeah the game pausing uh, yeah just pretty much what I was already talking about and then that yeah clear all slots now clears everything Uh, and that's a new thing added so with the console let's say we have a few lines you can now press up and down like any usual console it's a lot lot better to retype something you've already typed so if we want to debug the instead of having to type again we just press up and yeah so a lot lot better with that the Yep, moved all sounds to sound manager class that I've talked about. Did one thing also, which you won't see, but it was a I cleaned up all the files and moved them into better folders, mainly for the UI, so it's more organized and better naming conventions for the files, so it's easier to see in code what UI elements you have. Other than that, yeah talking about the up and down save now includes yeah so as i was showing here when we loaded this one the mod slot is also loaded so we included that now in the save files that the mod information is passed in 
so that was another thing there was I thought I typed it but hang on fixed issue with changing Ah, yep so and then with the menus as well like say we have inventory open and close set the tab if we changed it here it wouldn't close the tab with the new button it would only use the old button so just fix that that's another thing ambient sound was persisting to the main menu so if we quit the main menu here when ambient sound was playing you would still hear the ambient sound so that's fixed as well and then the last thing was on this level transition there was some like it would sometimes you would fall through the ground on that transition and then also if you say you were moving backwards it would you could phase into the door like there because the doors behind us when we spawn in so there, there were just some fixes. So that's it for the adjustments and fixes. So there's still, all right, and there was also adjustments to falling through the ground because there were still some issues. Like if you were say, uh, like here, we're inside the ground and you press space, it would, push you downward so now it pushes you up and then yeah you can fall under the level as well so no more bouncing around so, yeah but I still have to fix or figure out a way to get this perfect same with like here so it actually, if you see there, it's colliding and moving your vector correctly when you're colliding with the, the bottom of this ramp, but just that floor isn't preventing you from falling underneath. So that's a, that's a one thing. So there's still collision detection is still something I'm trying to get completely right. And then yeah, still these sides here you can go through but for the most part the collision detection is all good like the doors and stuff walls multi-wall collision everything it's just ramps and the floor that need to be corrected to a state that's good so yeah that's everything from this week um, and next week I'll probably be doing just work in this inventory so be depending on how much time I spend in the game working on it we'll see hopefully have some good stuff to demo with the inventory and that's it for this video this as I was saying this next week I'll be yeah focusing on the inventory and even that bottom UI so that'll be the main things and then probably go into the quest and skills menu so all the core stuff I want to do before even getting into the game world so that'll be it uh, yeah hopefully next week I'll have some decent stuff to demo and yeah see you, hopefully see you in the next video thanks